What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again giving you the information that you asked me for. Make sure you go to the ChazEllisProject.com, get a consultation or a quick question, or just make a donation to help us out. Also, make sure you check out the live stream that's going to be going on this Sunday night. That's May 17th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's what I'm going to be telling you when it's time to move on, when it's time to let go of a situation that you know is not going to get any better, um, and how to know it's not going to get any better. Um, also, it's going to be telling you when to when you want to hang on and kind of, and kind of keep going. So just giving you that information. Uh, that's whether you're in a um, friends with benefits situation, uh, friend zone, whatever the case may be, or you boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever the case may be. Anyway, also make sure you check me out on, on Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. Check out some of the things I'm posting. I'm posting um, videos, quotes, all kind of stuff. Check that out. Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. Anyway, the question that I got, <clears throat> it was from a guy, uh, and it's actually been from a couple guys, and I haven't done the video, and I probably should have, but anyway, um, they were asking me how to smash on the first date. Now, I know some ladies are like, Chess, how dare you tell somebody how to smash on the first date? You're supposed to be for us. Hey, I'm a slave to the truth. Now, as you can see in any of my videos, you can really take them and do the reverse of that. That's the videos for women. That's the videos for men. Some guy actually... Uh, said that one time in a, in a message to me. He was like, yo, you know what? I use the reverse of the videos that you give to the girls and I use it to get these women. I was like, well, you know, who could, who could stop you? That's, that's on you. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to go into this. It's pretty much like three steps and three things you got to think about when trying to get to smash on the first date. First thing you got to do um, before you even take one step you got to think about why it is that you haven't been smashing on the first date. This also will go into why you've been in the friend zone several times or why you um, find yourself not really being able to get the girl that you want and make her stay interested in you. It all kind of works together. Well, a lot of times the reason is the situation and the value that the girl has for you. Sometimes her situation may be such to where she really can't, she really not trying to do that. And sometimes it may just be the fact that she doesn't have much value for you. Now, unfortunately for most guys, what they do is they rush into a situation before they have an opportunity to figure out, you know, what the girl's value level for them is. They don't really know, you know, what's going on in the situation. OK, that's what happens with most guys. They take it. They rush. They step on the gas as fast as they possibly can before they really survey the area. So that goes into step one. And that's take your time. Before you go on a date with a girl, you need to take the time to fill the situation out. Because if you don't take the time to fill the situation out, then you're not going to know what you're going to be dealing with when you actually go out with her. So you'll have invested before you ever even get a chance to know whether she's even into you or whether or not she's in a situation where she would let you smash on the first date. Okay, you wouldn't even know because you haven't taken the time to take to, to get to know this girl and kind of break things down. You got all day, every day. You don't have to step on the gas, okay? And this is what a lot of guys do. They're like, oh, man, I just met this girl, so I better ask her out before someone else gets a chance to. I better do this. I better do that. Okay, I, I got to try to get on five dates as quick as possible. A lot of guys do that, and then they find themselves in the friend zone, or they find themselves not being somebody who she's really checking for. So when you take that time, you need to be doing two things. You need to be screening, and you need to be building value. This is when you tell her things about yourself, you um, talk to her about herself, um, you know, the way you want to build value, you just want to give, give yourself a chance to show her your personality before you ever even go on that first date. This is giving her something to lose before you even go on that first date. Let her see how nice of a guy you are. Let her see how cool you are, how well you treat people, things of that nature before you even go out on the first date. You don't want to go out on the first date and you just some chump from down the street that she doesn't even know and doesn't really care about because then she has nothing to lose if she tells you, deuces, I'm not really trying to let you smash or I'm not really trying to talk to you like that. She has nothing to lose. Um, when you screen somebody, these are things you want to screen for. Okay, first of all, you want to figure out how much she likes you. Now, the way you do that is basically by saying, 
If you guys text, does she text you right back? Does she text you and call you during times when she would could be doing something else? Does she try to um, you know, connect with you when she could if y'all are at work or something like that? Does she spend time with you when she could be spending time with somebody else? If y'all are friends from school or something like that, does she spend time with you when she could be spending time with somebody else? Um, what does she do to help you? And then what does she do to spend her time with you? Is it just basically in her spare time? Or is it like when she has time to be doing other stuff? Is she just calling you like, oh, hey, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just waiting for my nails to dry. Or is she calling you like, oh, I just wanted to get a good call in to you real quick before I had to go in here with my friends. Um, you know, I just wanted to make sure I could talk to you real quick. You know, is she doing it like that? Or is she just calling you when she's bored? That's going to tell you what the value level for you is. Um, also, ask for some things along the way, you know. Um, all kind of stuff. I, you know, hey, what are you, what are you wearing? Stuff like that. Yo, send me a picture. Things of that nature. See if, see, you know, just start trying to figure out what the value level is, and maybe if she'll say yes or no. Kind of figure out where you rank. Um, also, figure out what she's looking for. Um, you know, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a relationship? Are you looking for? Friends with benefits, because you would be surprised. There are some people that are looking for friends with benefits. A lot of dudes feel like they got to trick girls into this, but there are girls who actually are like, yo, I'm not really trying to be in a relationship right now. I may have just got out of something. So figure out what she's looking for, what type of situation she's looking for. Is she looking for just somebody to put in the friend zone? Is she looking for a friend with benefits? Is she looking for a boyfriend? Is she looking for a husband? Figure those things out, because that's going to play a big part in what happens next when you finally do go on this date. Um, and then number three, and this is a big one, figure out what she's been through. What type of dude has she dealt with? Cause this is going to tell you her triggers. What has she gone through in her past? What was her parents like? What was her, her, her upbringing like? This is going to tell you some of her triggers and some of the things that might cause you to lose value to her when you first take her out on that date, or it may cause you to increase your value to such a degree where smashing becomes inevitable. You know, if you are, if you know all the right things to say and all the right things to do, I say this about people all the time. People will give you the blueprint on how to treat them and how to build your value to them. Okay, they'll give you the blueprint. They'll tell you how to become the most important person in the world to them if you just ask and you just listen. So make sure you figure out what she's been through. Um, now, when you do all those things, you should be ready to go out on a date. You know these things for sure. You should be ready to go out on a date. So then step two is... Control the date. How do you control the date? You control the date by being yourself, number one. I know that sounds corny as hell. I'm going to break that down. When I say be yourself, don't go out on a date with somebody and start trying to impress them. That makes you look lame. That makes it look like you don't have any value. That's what I mean by being yourself. If you're the type of person that likes to pull out chairs and open doors, pull out chairs and open doors. If you're the type of person who doesn't like to pull out chairs and open doors, don't do it. You don't need to do any of that crap because that's not you. Be yourself. Don't try to be a character that you saw on television or some other crap because it doesn't look authentic and it makes you look whack. And that's the kind of thing that puts you in the friend zone or makes you be somebody that she's like, wow, I would never have sex with this dude ever in life, let alone on this particular date. He's lame. Okay, so be yourself. Come out of the gate being whatever type of person you are and that's going to build more value for you because the more you're yourself, you've already established the fact that the girl likes you. So the more of you you show her, the more she's probably going to like you. Um, you know, and, and going more into that with uh, more into that with controlling the date, you know, show her something unique. Make it a situation where you show her something because you got to understand every dude that she's run into is going to be basically like this, like some kind of a straight line. Like, OK, this is the dude I ran into today. Okay, and she's going to run into dude after dude after dude after dude after dude, and they're going to all basically be like on that basic, somewhere in that line. Okay, so you want to be a dude that's a little bit different than that. You want to show the unique parts of yourself that most people don't show. And that's going to take you in a different direction. That's going to make you somebody who she's saying, wow, this guy is rare. He's not like every other dude that I've met. This guy isn't like every other dude that I've dealt with. He seems a little bit different. He seems like maybe he has a cool plan or maybe he does something that's really cool and unique or he talks about things that are really cool and unique. Show her something, some aspect of yourself that isn't necessarily the common thing for everybody and there's something unique about you because you're a human being. Everybody has something that not every other person is doing. We're not all the same. So show that, some, show that unique spirit. 
Um, uh, number the, another thing for you to do. Uh, direct the date to the location that you wish. Now, this is a big one because I talk to women about this all the time. Like I said, you could take a lot of this stuff and you could reverse it if you're in the, if you're the female or the male or whatever your agenda is. Now, I talk to women about it all this time, all the time. Not going to places where you could be where you can be put in a position to have sex if that's not what you're looking for. Well, you doing the opposite. You making sure that the date goes to a situation where you can have sex. So. You don't say, hey, let's go out on a date and be like, yo, girl, I'm going to take you to Disney World, you know, or something like that. Even if you do that, you make sure that the second phase of the date is going to be, and don't take nobody to Disney World. That costs a lot of money, so that's going to put you in a position where you have, um, it depends on your financial situation, of course. But don't put yourself in a position from the beginning of the date where you have a huge investment before you try to take her to the next location. Because if that's the case, then you're going to be kind of stuck just doing whatever she wants to do because you've already put all this money and time into it. So you're not going to be like, oh, I can just cut. And, you know, I say meet somewhere that doesn't really cost you any money. Um, and that way, if you do want to just kind of cut out on the situation, you can because you haven't really invested very much. All right. So this is how you direct the situation to where you want it to be. Start out somewhere like a park or something like that. You're not really spending a whole lot of money. And then you can be like, hey, you want to come hang out with me at the crib and watch a movie or something like that? You haven't spent money really yet. Um, so, and you've already tested, like I said, screening process from the beginning. You've already screened to see if this girl will come and chill and watch a movie with you anyway. So, that's when you take it to the, to the crib, all right, and get her there. Because you've already taken the time to get to know her. You've built so much value before you even went out on this date. All this was doing was just confirming what she already knew about you. So the value is going to be there. And you got a chance to know her very well and know what kind of person you're going to be dealing with. So you know if she's going to be crazy and this is somebody you might want to cut and not even talk to. If you find out she was crazy during the screening process, don't go out on a date with her. Um, that's why you're asking questions like what you've been through. This is going to figure out your triggers, uh, different things about you. Make sure you check that out. Um, but anyway... Once you do all those things, you're going to be in a position where you already know she's going to come to the crib and watch a movie with you because you already screened her. You know whether that's going to happen or not. So you direct a date towards a movie at the crib or some some way, some place where you can be able to have sex. So do that. Okay? And then um, <laughs> this is going to sound weird to you, but you got to make her earn every step. Okay? As a guy, a lot of times we get in a date and we start trying to be on audition mode. Well, I want to make sure she likes me. I got to I gotta do this to make sure she likes me. I got to do that to make sure. And we just give a girl steps automatically without them having any effort or any any um, putting any effort into it. You can't do that. You have to make sure she earns every step. Okay, so if you take her to, the, if you take her to a movie or something like that, you say, okay, we're going to go watch the movie at my crib and everything like that. Make sure that before you even do that, you don't do that. You don't go to that first. That's why I said take it to that area. First, you want to start meeting her at a park. Then you want to talk to her or somewhere like, you know, somewhere that's out in the open. You want to talk to her and make sure that she knows that you clicked and you got cool with her. See, she feel like she earned that step. Like, oh, okay, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's hang out in my crib. Okay, well, let's go to the, yeah, let's watch a movie in my crib. You didn't start her out there. You know, make sure you think about that concept. Don't start her out at the crib. You make her earn that step. All right, I'm going to be here and then I'm going to the next spot. You make her earn your steps, okay? Because that's going to make her want to be more interested. She's going to be like, oh, well, he ain't just here to hit it. He actually cares. He actually is selective about who is smashing. So, or whatever the situation may be. She may not even know you want to smash right out. But she's thinking, you know, he's somewhat selective. So make her earn every step. And then the last one as far as um, taking control of the situation is really just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To, to do your thing. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Don't be afraid to say, hey, come to the crib. Because a lot of times, as guys, we like, oh, well, I'll lose what I got. You don't have anything yet. She went on a date with you. You don't have anything to lose by telling her to come to the crib. You don't have anything to lose by telling her you want to watch a movie or something like that. She's, she may say no, but if she says no, that doesn't mean she's never going to talk to you again. And if she did, she wasn't really that invested in you in the first place. Because it's not that easy just to stop talking to somebody. All right? And the last step, final step, once you get into the crib, once you find the, the time and the moment, make the move. 
Because a lot of times you do all of the work and then you don't make the move. This is one of the biggest things to land a guy in the friend zone. You get an opportunity to make a move and then you don't do it. If that's the case, you're going to look a little bit lame to the girl. And you're probably going to be in a situation where you're going to go on five, six, seven, eight dates, not make a move. And that's what kind of will land you in the friend zone. A lot of women will deny that, but it's the truth. A lot of times the biggest difference between the dude that hit it and the dude that ended up being a friend for 10 years is that that one, the first guy made a move and the last guy didn't. All right, so hopefully I was able to help you out. Make sure you check me out. Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook, the ChazEllisProject.com. Also check out that live stream. You can get the tickets on, that, on the ChazEllisProject.com. It's going to be this Sunday night, May 17th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else. Peace.